Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's a little after 5 o'clock on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And um, before we get started, just need to remind you as always that this uh, website, SP500Chart.com and the video, are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research. And you need to make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. Never have been, got no plans to become one. But I am a guy who draws lines on charts. So take that for what it's worth. Let's take a look. Well, another day. And another close in between our um, now slightly revised rising channel that is in red. And uh, boy, this is just it's just uncanny, really. Uh, maybe not maybe not as much as I'm thinking, but look at that. There's our gap up at the first day of trading, 2013. We gap from. I don't remember exactly where the close of we got from from roughly the mid 1420s and end up uh, with a 30 point plus gain on the day. And despite the fact that one might expect there to be some reactive move after a move uh, of that magnitude, instead we just jump up and then immediately start almost melting up and for the past uh, almost for about the past week we've been in this tiny little narrow range so you know we we've seen some features develop inside uh, of this uh, channel but really they're also small they they you know this this uh, diamond pattern right here is maybe significant but, you know, we, we butt our heads up against this longer, much longer term brown line again today. And, and when I talk about long term, I mean, that is a that is a long term, I believe, significant um, feature in this chart. And you can see that there have been one, two, three, four occasions where this line has been approached and on three of those occasions it was soundly turned back on the one occasion that it did not get immediately turned back the market really got slammed down after forming a clear head and shoulders pattern right here that was in um, spring of 2011 now if we uh, look at this chart also you'll see I've got one two, three, four red arrows. Those arrows, and, and guys, believe me, I am I am the last person to, to believe old wives' tales. I just don't. But I also would am the first person, well, let me, let me change that. I am the last person who would put 100% faith in old wives tales but I'll be the first person to tell you that in many of those um, uh, adages wives tales whatever you want to call them there is a kernel of truth um, you know the whole thing about they used to say eat chicken soup if you got a cold and everyone that's stupid there's no scientific proof for that and then lo and behold well actually there is now scientific proof so but what is the old wives' tale? What is the adage? Well, it's sell in May and go away. It worked in 2010. It worked in 2011. It worked in 2012. And this fourth arrow right here is where May is in 2013. So just, hey, you know, so far, even if this one doesn't work, that old wives' tale has been batting 750. So, uh, you know, and obviously it didn't work in 2009. Did it work in 2000, um, 
2008? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did work in 2008 because May was when was really when we kind of got the back test to um, to this uh, head and shoulders pattern that is off to the left of the chart here. So, say, four out of the last five Mays, it has worked. And I'm including uh, th this May back in uh, 2008. May, May 2009 did not work because we, we the market was just too technically um, rattled at that point um, so you you should have bought in May of 2009 but you should have sold in 2010 2011 2012 and you would have been much better off if you had done that in 2008 so for what it's worth let's just keep an eye on it um, today I see a, uh, maybe a couple things going on. We uh, bat, uh, uh, beat our head up against this brown line again and could not get over it. It almost looks as if the price action for the day took on something of a wedgish shape. Um, but you know, I'm not going to get too married to that. But it sure does look like it. I'm more married to the idea of this brown line than where these little uh, jukes and jives happen to fall in uh, on, on this five-minute chart. But I will tell you this. It looks like we have an area down here now of support that is at approximately 1514 uh, and a little change. Maybe we'll call it 1514. And if we were to come back down to that line and take it out, then we would be looking at a very small head and shoulders pattern that may, could could become significant. Because if we take that out, then that means we will break this red channel. So guys, for right now, you know, I would say the red channel is working until it doesn't work. I just, just keep on banking on it. So uh, that's it. Pretty simple video for a pretty lackluster day. Here we have one, two, three, four, five days now where all of the trading has taken place between 1525 and 1514. So we've been 10 point range bound for an entire week. Um, that I don't think that can keep on much longer, but clearly there's buyers. For every seller, there's a buyer as we are in this area right here and if the market fails to get any giddy up and go I suspect that um, those buyers will probably not be happy with this little these little tiny moves that we're starting to see so that is why um, wedge patterns start to fail and and we are kind of getting wedge ish in the fact that we are not getting very large rallies now. Everything is getting shrunk down in size and scope. So as that happens, you just finally reach the point to where people who, who you would maybe count on to, to be on the long side of the market, they just kind of would go, well, you know, what's the point? Why should I put my uh, principal at risk for a three percent three or four percent gain when where we are in the markets at least by long term or longer term historical perspectives looks to be a place where risk should start to be uh, 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 carefully considered as we approach these levels up in the mid 1500s or possibly as high as 1600 so guys, there's your video for Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2013. Just want to say if you are a subscriber, then you're watching this on Valentine's Day. If you're not a subscriber, you're looking at this probably on the weekend that came after Valentine's Day. You may ask yourself, how can I see this video in a more timely fashion? It's easy. You go to sp500chart.com and you sign up and you uh, have to be willing to spend about 99 cents per 
trading day in order to get that video available to you on a timely basis. So just think about it, and uh, I appreciate it. And again, happy Valentine's Day to all of those who, for today, are enjoying Valentine's Day. For the rest of you, I hope you had a great Valentine's Day five days ago. Take care. Thanks.